typically when we have an injury, um, it's because um, we've either had repeated move, uh, sustained postures or repeated movements um, uh, beyond the t body's capacity and something starts to talk to us. Up a tissue, um, maybe it's your big toe, maybe it's your plantar fascia, maybe it's your Achilles tendon, starts to kind of talk to you a bit and let you know that it's having a problem. Now, um, whatever the weak link is or the weakest link um, is what talks to us first. But oftentimes, our other side is not very far behind. And so we just start, st we stop doing what we're doing. We start maybe get some treatment or seek what we should do. And the other one might have been just about to start to be a little bit active, but what slowed us down was, was, was the weaker or tighter side. Um, and so this is, can be sort of like um, rehab on one side and sort of prehab on the other side to wear them, um, to wear them, uh, wear them both. Because oftentimes one is just a little bit sort of behind the other. It just didn't get, quite get to that symptomatic level yet. So that's the first thing. Second thing is that um, uh, if we think of the environment that creates sort of our foot shape, um, a big portion of that is sort of the footwear and the, and the regular posture that our foot is, our feet are in. And um, typically our footwear is similar side to side. Now of course our mechanics and how we move affect, um, affect our feet and their structure. Um, but in terms of environment, if um, we have an environment that is uh, uh, creating a situation where we have a higher likelihood for injury, then, um, then we also want to be able to make the same changes on, on both sides. So um, that's another reason why um, we, can, we can kind of uh, optimize natural posture on both sides. And the third reason that I think is really important is because of the, um, the circulation and um, kind of the neural flow um, in and out with the feet. So. Um, to get optimal health, our body has to be able to get blood supply in, blood supply, lymphatic drainage out, neural flow in and out. And what people will notice oftentimes when they put on correct dose right away, um, sometimes they'll notice changes happening within a few hours or even a few days. They can wiggle their toes more, they can have a little bit more awareness. And that's probably not too much structural change right now, but what it is is actually sort of enlivening of the area. Um, has to do with blood flow and also even some neural mapping both at the feet but in your brain and starting to make some different feedback and connection. And we have a big section of our brain that is actually earmarked for our feet. And oftentimes it's kind of very muted because um, it's in a, we're kind of in a sensory controlled environment in our shoes. So as we start to awaken that up, we actually stimulate a large section of our brain and we double that. <laughs> um, when we have it on both sides. And so that neural map that we're playing around with that allows for um, cha changes in our, in, our, in our feet can be stimulated twice as much doing that on both sides.